Get ready to make a spoon rest. Hi, Marie here. Welcome to Pottery Crafters. You found video number four in our Beginner Pottery Wheel project series. Today you'll learn how to throw, decorate, and glaze a spoon rest. And yes, you'll see the finished piece. If you like what you see, please like the video. And if you want to support me or see new videos, feel free to subscribe and hit the bell icon next to the subscribe button to get notified whenever I upload a video. Before we get started, here's a list of tools and supplies I use to make the spoon rest, which will also be down below in the show notes, along with any other important information I may talk about throughout the video. The tools and supplies listed are only recommendations and items I use on a daily basis. I'll be starting with the clay already centered, so if you're having any problems centering your clay, you want to check out the video up above. With that said, enjoy the video and make sure you stay to the end to see the finished piece. Let's get started. For this project, I'm using 11 ounces of Amico Stoneware 38 white clay. After your clay is centered, press down and outward until you reach the desired width you want your spoon rest to be. Stop to check the thickness of your clay with your needle tool. A third of an inch is good. Move back and forth with your sponge to compress the clay. Bring the sides up just a bit to create a nice lip and compress the rim. Get rid of the little nubby in the center by moving your sponge back and forth. When doing so, make sure your sponge doesn't have too much water in it. As you can see, I'm using my pinky finger to make a cool swirl pattern. To make the spout, take your thumb and index finger and place them gently on the outside rim. Then with your other index finger and middle finger, gently press down and move side to side to create a spout for your spoon rest handle. I'm removing any extra clay on the bottom edge with the Giffen Grip using my loop tool. Once the spoon rest is totally dry, it's time to bisque in my Scut Kiln at Cone 04. Make sure you wipe your spoon rest good with a damp sponge. This helps to ensure your glaze will bond to your piece.
Wax resist makes it easier to get any glaze off the bottom of your spoon rest. I'm glazing the outside of the spoon rest with Amico Blue Rutile and applying it with an Artist Soft Fan Brush. I always put the glaze through a strainer. It catches any clumps of glaze or debris that may be lurking in your glaze, which is much easier than trying to pick it off of your piece. If you're new to glazing, you can check out my article on 27 glazing tips for beginners. I left a link in the description below. With this spoon rest, I'm leaving it on the cup to dry and applying two more coats. It's important to allow the glaze to dry before you apply another coat. After the third coat, flip the spoon rest over and glaze the inside. Use a good amount of glaze on your brush and let the glaze float across your piece. Let it dry and apply another coat. After it's dry, float another coat on and let it dry again. I'm using Spectrum Pearl White to make a cool design on the top. Apply a good amount of glaze and make a swirl with your finger. Make sure the glaze is totally dry and it goes back in the kiln for the final firing at cone 5. Let's see how the spoon rest turned out. Here's the finished spoon rest. The definition of the swirl ended up showing nicely through the glaze. I like this color combination. I think it turned out pretty good. Nice size to rest your spoon on. What do you think? Feel free to post any questions, comments, or even ideas for future videos in the comments below. Some of the best tips and feedback come from you. Also in the comments section are more show notes and pottery making info. I hope you've learned a thing or two to make your own spoon rest. Check out my other videos from Pottery Crafters and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to get notified when a new video comes out. I'll see you in the next video.